Thank you for having me on the show. So, Jonathan, what are we going to be talking about today? 
Good stuff, good stuff. So, how you been, Johnson? How's everything? I've been well, and I, I see you've been busy. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I've been busy with a number of projects, uh, as well as, uh, yeah, so I flies, um, when you when you're busy. But it's all good, it's all good. Uh, so what have you been doing in your community, Jonathan? Anything uh, been happening lately? Well, as usual, I've been doing units. I want to be finishing it. Is on independent assessment? Oh, independent assessments. Oh, I don't think uh, many people are looking forward to these independent assessments. But yeah, look, uh, we need to we need to form a community. We need to have a collective voice, make our voices be heard. Andrew, on these on this issue and for me this is what script chat is for we're not here to tell you what you think we're here to be your Boy. Yeah, so just for the audience, if you got anything you want to raise, let your voice be heard. Let us know. Provide a comment. And yeah, and we'll go from there. Uh, quick chat, like you said, Jonathan, it's all about, it's all about the, it's all about disability. So people with disability being uh, included in our society. And we welcome everyone, so nobody gets left behind. Yeah. Yeah, and so we yeah we're doing we're out there in the community, yeah, doing a lot of a lot of things, a lot of projects we're working on. Yes. There's yeah, there's organisations like Australian Disability Limited, uh, Physical Disability Council of New South Wales. Physical Disability Australia, uh, Diversity and Disability Alliance. There's uh, a lot of them yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our show. Thank you for joining us. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, Hello. What, for the audience out there, so what kind of organization uh, are you with? Let us know, let us know. Jonathan, I heard that you're with a few organizations. What yes. organizations are you with? I'm with Overcourt Australian Disability when I'm the founder and president and I'm a Board member treasurer of physical disability. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, I tried just a Facebook user. Well, it's a. I guess you can utilize your Facebook. And spread the message. We're all about inclusion, aren't we, Jonathan? Yes. 
Yeah, so spread the message far and wide. Let people know. It's all about inclusion. Yeah, so what other organizations are you with, Jonathan? So not as a board member, but I'm I enjoy being a member of the physical disability council of New South Wales. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I'm also a member of that BDCN. Um, yeah, yeah, that's no, good yeah. stuff. They're all about self advocacy. Yeah. Mm, uh, sorry, systemic advocacy. Sorry. What's the difference for people who don't know? Well, I think our self advocacy is, uh, you know, advocating um, on your own, like. Uh, being your own voice, being in control of uh, make creating change in our society. Whereas our systemic advocacy, or well, they're basically advocating for, um, yeah, an organization. Uh, they are, I guess, based on um, system, which is in its name itself, in the name itself. Um, yeah, do you want to? Do you want to talk more about that, Jonathan? What is the difference from your so, point of view? So the way I see it is independent and so individual and it's about giving you the Yes, yes. Uh, that's good. That's good. What about um, what about organizations like EMDA, Multicultural Disability Associ Adv Advocacy Association? Well, they are advocacy organizations, but they cater to a specific section of the community and it's people body's road to ideally work together to represent all our views to government and society. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, on a Diversity and Disability Alliance, DDA, um, they're a user-led organization run by people with disability for people with disability. Um, they're also about creating change. So I guess there are a lot of uh, organizations out there that advocate for people with disability. Um, and they're all about inclusion and accessibility. And there's one thing I want to say. 
Yep. We're, we're not in competition. We all want a more inclusive society. But some segments of the community need more help. But it's not about being a charity. It's about helping people to realize their full potential. Yeah, and this is where I guess scripture comes in. Yeah. It's a platform for people to I guess uh, express their, their views and their opinions and make your voices be heard. Yeah, it's very it's very important that our voices be heard. I, I say so we're both from New South Wales. If we, are you on the NDIS? Yes, yes, I've been on the NDIS for, this is my third year now. Um, how about you, Jonathan? Yes, I for about three days. And how's the NDIS working out for you, Jonathan? Look, it's going well, it's going well. I think, look, there are problems, but it's giving me a lot more flexibility. Exactly. Look, at the end of the ice for me, it's uh, going good. There are more, I guess, advantages than there are challenges. Um, It still needs uh, to be improved. But I think the government's doing a good job uh, introducing the NDIS and allowing us to be uh, flexible in how we like uh, spend our funds. So yeah, and also we've got another question um in regards to the vaccination. I th um let me just go to the question. Yes. Hey. Ooh, a lot a lot of questions asked. Yep. So thank you, Jonathan. So yeah, what what do you think about vaccination rollouts? Have you had your, your yours yet, Jonathan? Look, I have had mine. Me neither, me neither. I guess uh, the, the, the process is a bit slow. They're actually behind in terms of, like, the vaccination rollouts. Um, I really haven't kept tabs on... I haven't really kept myself updated. But I know that you can go to your nearest uh, hospital and get it, get the jab. That looks good. The both of you keep the up, keep the good work up. Thank you thank, for that, man. Thank you, Jane. That means a lot. And welcome to the show. I hope you. I, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. And I'm, yeah, I'm glad to everybody that's listening as well. Thank you very much for supporting our group chat. And if you do have any comments, let us know. Yeah, all good. Uh, we got we got a few questions from uh, Jay. Uh, so where do you live and what state? Um, we're, so we're both from uh, New South Wales. So I think uh, I'm I'm located in the southwest. Where about are you located, Jota? 
on the North Show. Nice, nice. So, yeah, <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, so we've got a question here. Um, the service are the service providers inhibited by by funds? So Jonathan, are the service providers inhibited by funds? So yes, yes. When you get a service provider, yes, that that will be. Uh, you will pay them through the NDIS uh, through the funds they get through the NDIS. We'll go towards the support, the service providers. And it and it, it actually depends on uh, how you manage your NDIS. Yeah. The, the, the NDIS can actually control your funds. Or you can have a fund manager who works with you to control the funds. Or you oh. yourself can manage the funds. Yes. Okay, are the service? Yeah, next question. Um, go down. Oh, cheese from Victoria. Welcome, welcome to our New South Wales, our, our neighbor. Thank you for joining us. Um, let me just say lockdown. Everyone watching. From Victoria, we're sending you all our love mm. and support. And may this be a short love. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you take care of yourselves and uh, be extra vigilant and always maintain your social distancing. And, uh, yeah, of course, keep up with your action. Sorry to steal your words, but honestly, if you need anything, just reach out because yep. we're always here to help a fellow brother or sister in will. Exactly, exactly. We can't always, uh, I guess, uh, keep connected face to face, but we can always keep ourselves connected online. And so we encourage all our audience to, uh, yeah, use your voice, let your voice be heard. Mm. And I guess this is the platform to do it on CryptChat, the weekly podcast on everything disability. Okay, so do we have any other questions? I'm um, Alan Chee. And if anyone wants to join us in the future episode, you know what to do? Comment below and I will personally get in touch with you. That sounds good, Jonathan. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Okay. So, before we do wrap up, do you, do you have any final words you want to say? Well, remember, whatever the government. So, just before we uh, end, we got a question. So, yeah, where do you leave you to? We keep, uh, yes, give up the good work, good stuff. Use your voice. It is needed. Yeah, I think love get back to you. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, Chaser. Like we said before, we both live in New South Wales. The Jordan lives at uh, North, North, up North. No, it's all good, so good. Anyway, thank you for joining us, Jay. It's always a pleasure to have you, as with everyone else. So, yeah, uh, sorry, Jonathan, any final words? Whatever people say, whatever the government proposes, remember, as individuals, we may bend. But as a community, when we are united, we stand or sit strong. Yep, together, let our voices all be heard. Together, we can achieve changes. Um, Make it easier for the better. And to quote a song, together we are not alone. Good stuff, Jada, good stuff. Exactly. Together we are not alone. And so we thank you. We thank you for joining us this week. And uh, please, uh, for future, any topics you want to you want us to talk about, you want us to discuss, please let us know. Get get back to us, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. No worries. All right, thank you, everyone. Goodbye bye for now. now. You've been watching Creepy Chat. Please remember to. Like, share, comment, subscribe, join us next week as we continue to chat disability. Bye. Okay, thank you guys. See you later.